putting so much time and effort into it just to get 54 views it just it's, it just takes it out of me and it makes me question whether I should do it anymore so um, I've watched loads of videos on how to grow your channel it's a load of rubbish <laughs>
due diligence yesterday with the team. We've got a little plan. We're going to go and try. Well, I'm going to go and try it. They're all snoring their heads off, no doubt. Um, so we're going to go and try and get to the shopping centre, get on top, um, on the top part of the shopping centre, um, and see if we can stay on the loading bay. Two days ago, we was in Preston. They allowed me to stay in their loading bay all day. Work from there. It was fantastic. It just saves a lot of to and fro. Yeah, you know, I put my name forward, done a bit of grafting, quite good. Um, and we're hoping to do the same today. Yesterday we weren't as fortunate in Bolton. We had to travel uh, maybe three miles each way to pick the stuff up. Uh, not a problem. Uh, it's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. You don't always get lucky. But the things I do to try and help the guys out, eh? Uh, getting up extra early, driving a little bit further. Um, Blackpool can be a pain with traffic. Uh, the roads are quite narrow. They're not very. They're not very wide. These roads. Um, so we're going in early to see where we can get. If we can't get anywhere, then we can't get anywhere. It's as simple as that. Um, there's not really a lot to see. It's absolutely chucking it down. Uh, good old northern weather. Um, so we've all been looking forward to Blackpool. We've said, you know, what, we'll do Blackpool, and then we'll go and have a few drinks in the evening. Nothing heavy, but a little. Well done guys, it has been a good week, pat on the back. Tomorrow we finish and we go on to the next place. And uh, of course, it's raining. <laughs> um, you know, all week it's been fine. The week, the day we've decided we're all gonna go and have a few drinks at the end of the shift, as I say, nothing major, nothing heavy. It starts to rain, ridiculous. Back onto Blackpool. So when I was, um, yeah, spent a lot of time in my youth in Blackpool. Um, Mum used to live in Blackpool for a short period of time, but I say short, maybe two, three years. She lived in Blackpool. Um, lived in Stockport most of my life, so Blackpool was pretty much on the hit list every year. What do we do? Let's go to Blackpool. That's what it was. Every year, without fail, we went to Blackpool with our friends or with family always went to Blackpool so holds a special place in my heart to be honest as much of a shit hole it is um, it does hold some form of a place in my heart I had my, I've had some special moments there 18, 21st that sort of stuff so um, yeah <laughs> yeah my 21st yeah, my mate Neil he knows what he's fucking put me on my 21st put me off Southern Comfort for life that prick good morning so you join me on Sunday morning 20 past 8 it is, uh, this is our last day for sampling this week, I do believe I'm sampling next week in London uh, for a few weeks so um, there's not really a great deal I'm allowed to show, I mean the guys I've been working with they did say that I'm able to show the product if I wanted to um, and all that sort of stuff but there's certain things I don't want to show which I think would be wrong so yeah, we're on a Pepsi sampling. Um, maybe I'll do a little bit more next week. Um, so I was in the one of the towns with them, um, and they said, "Yeah, you can you can film here. We have no problem with you filming." Um, this was their manager. He said, "I don't mind you filming on on your cameras," but I decided against it. Uh, I just wasn't convinced by the way he was answering me. Uh, I just said, "Look, I do YouTube, blah blah blah. blah. Would it be possible to film, or would you rather I didn't?" And he paused and he was like, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine to film, I don't mind. But I just didn't feel convinced by the way it was said. Uh, and then I spoke to one of the other colleagues that worked there and they were like, oh yeah, you should just film, you know, you should. Uh, I decided against it, but life's not all about filming um, for me. So um, I decided against it. So you're only going to get a little portion of a video today. Um, you're going to watch. It's not going to be fantastic, it's just going to be me muttering, doing a little bit of driving. It's quite a, a boring one, but I need to do something to get something out for the algorithm. So um, let's just say I'm using this as an excuse to make something to get on the algorithm on YouTube so more people watch. This is my last day on this sampling with this group. I do believe there is potential maybe I'm going to be staying with them, but I wouldn't have thought so. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, this is my last day with them. Um, uh, so I'm going to head back now on the M6 and down on the M55 and into Blackpool again and park in the same place we parked yesterday which was a decent parking place we found some 
well I managed to find somewhere that's got some toilet facilities and um, was able to get hot food in that yesterday so that was good um, quite a decent place really we don't always land on our feet like that so we're gonna press on now uh, and I'm gonna let you see the road ahead because I've not really done a great deal of that I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna start making headway down to Blackpool so we'll see you in Blackpool <laughs> just not ideal very little driving um, so it's been difficult however I do want to get something out can't let the old algorithm start forgetting me well I say start forgetting me it's already forgotten me <laughs> um, so I just want the algorithm to sort of try and pick me up again and the longer I leave it the harder it's gonna be so um, that's probably why you've seen a lot of YouTube shorts recently. Uh, I'm trying to build up my um, status, my profile on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, stuff like that. So um, I'm trying really, really hard to, to get the views, get the subs. Um, and I'm really struggling with putting that down this week. So um, because of that reason, I've sort of not been too bothered about filming although it should motivate me um, I've probably done the opposite plus because of the work I'm doing as I say it's not the easiest to film because I'm out on the lorry a lot a lot so yeah I'm just wondering how I can get my views up really uh, other than not be boring I can't think of any reason as to why I'm not getting views and I've been doing this a year and a half now. <coughs> I've had one good video which got about 4,800 views. Um, and, you know, when I first started, my, my views were constantly five, 600 people viewing um, when I was class two. Um, I'm not going to say since I've come on class one because that's not true. But my views started to dip then they go up again, you know, they were sort of all over the place. You know, one week I'd get, I don't know, six, seven hundred, then the next week I'd get 74. Um, and it just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. I'm not into buying subscribes and all that. I'm not doing any of that. Um, so it's kind of putting me down a little bit in terms of, uh, listen, there's more to life than making YouTube videos, don't get me wrong, but it's nice to see that people are intrigued to see what you do. Uh, I'm not going to name any anyone's names because everybody works hard um, with what we do. But um, there's some YouTube creators out there that I, I watch, I follow, 
Um, I think they're good, 100%. Um, but their videos aren't no better than mine, and they're getting, I don't know, six, seven thousand views. And they've only done half the videos I've done, and I just don't understand why or how. Um, I mean, yeah, in the early days it took me a long time to edit a video and understand how to edit. Now I sort of have a good understanding, well I think I've got a good understanding of how I do my editing, that sort of stuff. I'm putting so much time and effort into it just to get 54 views. It just, it's, it just takes it out of me and it makes me question whether I should do it anymore. So. Um, I've watched loads of videos on how to grow your channel. It's a load of rubbish. It's a load of rubbish. That's us watching them is what keeps their channel going. Um, I've done everything that two or three of them guys have said um, that I follow. And every time I do it, does it make a difference? Not an iota. Not an iota of difference. And I'm just wondering, is there something I don't do that I've, that I've never been told about that you all do that helps you get out into the big wide world. I mean, I do my tags. Um, I use a thing called TubeBuddy. And TubeBuddy is a like a title creator. It helps you on the tags for the title, all that sort of stuff. So before I even make my video, um, I do all my research. I put my keywords in to see what the audience would want to see. Uh, I'm telling you, the minute you type in HGV, on Keyword Explorer on TubeBuddy, it just lights up and says, yeah, this is a great one to do because it, it says that HGV is searched a lot. However, it does say the competition is very high, but um, hate using the words HGV in your titles, your description, uh, on your thumbnail is the way to go. So I'm always trying to leave the word HGV in. It wasn't working, it hadn't been working. <laughs> me so what I decided to do was do some more research and the other researches I've been doing were um, for example truckers vlogs UK I typed that into keyword Explorer and it's telling me that the search word is excellent competition is good optimization Excellent, basically, and it was saying that it gets 24 million um, a month searches on it as my keyword. So I thought, okay, we'll go with that. Oh, it was Driving Vlogs UK, sorry, Driving Vlogs UK. Um, no, scrap that. It was Lorry Driving Vlogs. That's right, because for two or three videos, it was a it was the bar across my thumbnail. Lorry driving vlogs, and it said it was great. So I thought, okay, we'll use that. So the first week, I took extra care once again, making my video, and I put the video out. I was, I was a little bit excited, thinking the views are finally going to go up. I might have cracked it this time. A, di a disappointing 58 views for a week. Seven days, 58 people watched it, man. Um, I used near on, near on, the same tags you'd use on the word HGV. I changed the, I changed about a third of it. Uh, thumbnail was great. My optimization was fantastic. My SEO was up to 100. I always do all that before I do a video. Always. Just not getting the views, and I don't know what to do. Part of me is saying, stop doing it, you're wasting all this time and effort that you could probably spend on being with your family or doing something productive. And the other half is saying, no, 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 no. You just keep making these videos. The 58 people want to see that video every week. It's heartbreaking. As I say, a year and a half I've been doing this. I watch YouTubers like Luke C and HGV. Uh, Trucker J, um, you know, uh, Kev, all them sort of people, and I think their videos, their content is good. I really do. I think they're good. They're good at what they do, uh, and they get good views. Now, I'm not saying I want views like them, because I think something magical needs to happen to get views like them. 
Um, however, it'd be nice to uh, be nice to share or eat at the same table as them, if that makes sense. In terms of, I don't know. Let me have at least just two thousand. Listen, if I was getting two thousand views per video, then yeah, I would be happy. This conversation with the camera stroke, you guys wouldn't be happening. Um, I would be over the moon. I'd be happy. I'd be content. I could live with it. But fifty, seventy. I mean, when I hit three figures, like a hundred, I kind of get excited. That's how bad it's gone. Now, back in the day when I first started, like I say, I was getting, um, you know, sort of five, seven fifty, that sort of number, on a regular basis, and all of a sudden it just dropped. And I've watched so many YouTube videos, uh, why your channel drops, why this happens. I've introduced new music. Um, I've tried to stop talking as much. Um, good old Daff. Um, tried to stop talking as much, you know, usual stuff, um, and everything I've done that all these experts say is the thing to do hasn't made iota a single bit of difference. So, um, yeah, anyone there, anyone out there knows any way of helping me, please get in touch, uh, leave a comment or private message me or whatever. Um, I just feel I need some help. Something's just something's not not right. Something's amiss, and I don't know what it is. And listen, I cannot think of anything I've done with my videos any different to anybody else. And mine is better. And some not, none of the names mentioned in the video earlier. Not nothing to do with them. But there's other other users. There's another guy up here. He keeps popping up on my um, suggests suggested videos every day. Guy, he's fairly new. Um, he doesn't do thumbnails, he just puts a picture of a view out of his window and he'll put a headline of, um, I don't know, driving into London today. That's it. The guy gets four or five thousand views a video. And I think, how's he doing it? My problem is, I don't think it's my content. I'm just not able to pump it out to the audience, the selected audience. But everything I'm doing on my tags, as I said, it's all HGV related. It really is. Lorry driving, class one, class two, tractor, trailer unit, everything. I'm throwing it all in my tags. Um, so like I say, please, anyone out there, any suggestions would be fantastic. If not, I'll keep making them for a few more weeks. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to stop. So um, that's not a threat. That's a promise. And it's not for any reason other than, as I say, it's... it's disheartening it really is um, I spend a lot of time making these videos um, a lot of time at my spare time away from my family uh, which I choose to do away from my family editing these videos so we'll see um, you know I don't want to bring all my problems onto you but I can't think of what else to do it's been bugging me for weeks and I nearly quit just two weeks ago I thought you know what? I'm not doing them anymore and I'm like actually no it's a big part of my life, it really is. I'm not begging for people to sub and to watch my videos. I'm just asking, does anybody know the reason why? Anyone can help me, please feel free. Comments below. Um, you know, and if, if it turns into a one-on-one -on -one chat, then more than happy to um, talk private uh, and pick people's brains, basically. Um, I might even video me doing a video so you can see how I set it all out and anyone spots anything that I do wrong As I say comments below. I'd be more than happy to hear right. I'm gonna stop banging on time is almost well It's five to seven now um, <clears throat> I'm just waiting for these gates to open before I move um, I'll see what I can record today. It's not gonna be a lot because I can't really promote the company We're doing the work for or their drinks Um it's just not fair, is it? <laughs> and I don't want to get um, I don't want to get sued. So yeah. On that note, guys, I'm going to leave it there. As I say, comments below. Feel free if you need to subscribe and you've watched this. If you are new, trust me, I'm not always this dull. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, keep on trucking, guys. Talk to you soon.
Alright guys. Oh. So we are on Sunday. Uh, we are trying to, well we are travelling back, there's no trying, we are travelling back. Um, <clears throat> just a little bit concerned because um, Mr. Twat Nav is telling me that there's a 19 minute delay. Um, it would be really nice to know what that 19 minute delay is. <clears throat> we are currently on the toll road, well we're just in the um, Norton Keane Services Act on the 45. So we've just completed that, um, and I'm due back to the yard for about 10 past 8 this evening. Um, so we'll just have to see what the issues are going to be. Uh, it's not been a bad week. It's not been a fantastic week, but it's not been a bad week. It's not been too bad. It's. Um, Proving to be long, uh, for sure. Um, that's the only thing when you do the Pepsi. Um, I don't mind a bit of grass. I quite like it. It keeps keeps my brain ticking over every now and then, and um, sometimes it's required. Um, and this week's been a bit of grass, but I feel uh, I don't know. I just feel a bit <laughs> knackered, I suppose. Um, went to bed last night. Well, before I went to bed, I was on. I drove from Blackpool. Um, I had to park somewhere safe, and of course, where am I supposed to go, mate? You, you come farming up the inside lane, and I've got nowhere to go. And you're moaning at me because I've had to indicate to come on, and you've had to slow down. Christ, anyway. What was I saying? Yeah. Um, so we are, uh, as I say, on the M um, forty. And anyway, I was saying that from Blackpool. Um, my plan was to stay in Blackpool, go out, have a few drinks last night. They said, "Oh, one part round here at night time, you'll get robbed." So with that in mind, I was a bit disappointed because there was only one other place I could go. And they said, don't go there either. It's exactly the same as this place, because it's only half a mile apart, around a big estate. That's it. So I had to drive about 27 miles away to the nearest safe parking area. So I went there, parked up there. <coughs> and <laughs> I was just feeling just jaded, just tired, just aggravated last night. So. Um, I went and had some dinner, had some uh, had some dinner, had a shower. I went back to the lorry about, I don't know, quarter past eight, something like that. And I thought, I'll just stick my iPad on. A couple of hours, watched a bit of something on the iPad or something. I didn't want to put the telly on. And I just couldn't get comfortable. So after about 10 minutes of sat in the seat, what, just watching, I thought, oh, I can have my iPad over the TV and I'll lay in bed and I'll, you know, just do what I do, go to sleep. Well, I didn't mean I, I didn't think I'd fall asleep that quickly. Um, so I was locked the cab, but I didn't draw the curtains. <laughs> I woke up in this morning. That's right, guys. This morning I woke up. Five to seven. Which is good, because my alarm was going off at quarter past. Five to seven. And I was like, oh my God. Curtains were open. Doors were locked. Everything else was secure, but... I've not done that in a long while. I was as knackered this week as just beating the living crap out of me.
Send me 